So, you have anything for me today? I do. I have a question from Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Mickey asks, I have an old IBM R32 laptop, 2 gigahertz, 32-bit processor with a 1 oh, gigabyte of RAM. I, if I put Debian 9 stretch on it, will I be able to watch Netflix or Hulu on it? I really miss sitting on my patio having a cigar and watching programs online. I'll say. That sounds nice. Well, then, uh, yeah, Debian 9. Okay, we talked about it when, on episode 510 when we talked about Debian. Was it 510? I can't recall the number. Forget the numbers. Just look for Debian on our website. Um, when, when we introduced Debian Stretch, it is, in its, at its essence, uh, a distro that uses um, free open source Mm -hmm. firmware's drivers out of the box. We can enable the ability to do other wor otherwise, um, as we discussed on that show. But we didn't touch on this, so I appreciate the question. Uh, I've got Debian 9 um, from that, uh, you know, f from that show, and it's pretty vanilla. I haven't really done anything with it. So we're just going to bring up uh, Firefox, and I'm going to give it a go for you. So I'm going to head over to Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Oh, Netflix. I love Netflix. I didn't tell you, but uh, I was watching Black Mirror again. Oh, good. And we're not binge watchers. Like, we don't do that. Although, we found <laughs> the closest thing we've ever done to binging. We found, um, oh, come on. It's on the tip of my tongue. Legion. I'd never Legion. seen uh, a superhero show that we actually l liked. Like, we I wanted to I've like The that. Flash. Right. We wanted to, but it was just so... I just won't go there. I will tell you, we binge watched Bates Motel. Yeah. Never and heard of then it. we bought all of the old Psycho movies because it's based on, on Netflix. Right. Oh, you bought. Oh, so we okay, bought on Netflix. We watched the Bates Motel, right? Okay. Then we bought the Psycho movies because I had never seen them because y'all right. know I'm kind of uncultured and things like this. Right. Um, have you seen those movies? Never even heard of... Oh, Psycho? Psycho? No. We're not into the horror genre. Yeah, well... Never have been, but... I'm not either, it turns yeah. out, but I'm going to watch them. I'm going to muscle through it, but... Okay, all right. That... Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, as I mentioned that we watched Dark Mirror the other yes. day, and we're not binge watchers, but Legion was good. Yeah. Legion was very, very good uh, for uh, that kind of superhero movie uh, show, but that's beside the point. Um, on Dark Matter... No, Black, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. I get those two confused all the time. <laughs> Black Mirror. Uh, the episode was um, reminded me exactly of your news story from like two years ago. I don't know if you remember this, but they um, used artificial intelligence to bring back the dead. Yes. I know what you're talking about, and I know the news story you you're talking the about. the news story? Yes. Because it, I, was like I, I was sitting there, Facebook. and I was like, this is real. This yeah. act, Sasha talked about this. Yes. And they made a show about it. So they took the idea, the concept of this artificial You're intelligence welcome. that takes all your social media, Facebook, Twitter, everything, compiles it all into an AI and then turns it into a chat bot. It's and, actually uh, a really good news. episode. It was a very good episode. You that's creepy. Black Mirror people. It's, I, it's, hard for, to it's hard for me to recommend Black Mirror because it's there are some that it, it's not... There are some where I sit and there are I, uh, none. There are not. Well, no, it's it, they're all don't start with episode good for one of thinking. season one. It was a good thing that we started accidentally the first episode of season three because I think if we had seen you the watched. pilot, yeah. I think we would have just turned it off. Right. I, I couldn't it's, have done it exactly. But it always makes you think. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make you think about it, the what ifs. It, it delves into the darker side of the human behavior and. and Here's and, something really cool about technology. Here's what could happen with it if it was abused or. It's like misused. having a conversation with Jeff. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of cool technology, uh, Netflix. I've got it up here, um, so I'm I'm here. So I'm logged in as myself. Uh, we're mum and dad, and there it is, uh, Black Mirror. You can see. Continue watching. Um, okay. So if I push play on something, and we're gonna hope that we don't get copyright infringement notices here. I don't have audio on, so I push play, and it tells me, "Whoops, something went wrong." I guess it doesn't work, right? Actually, let's take all of about 10 seconds, and we're going to jump... Oh, the, holy cow. Could it be that easy? There's a button that says Enable DRM in the top right. I'm going to push it and see what happens. No way. 
That was pretty easy. That was too oh. easy. Wow. Mickey. I could do that. How was that? Huh. 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 Out of the box, it did not work. Uh, with a single mouse click. I was about to show you how to go into preferences and <laughs> how to turn on DRM. Um, if you don't see that alert, because maybe not everybody's going to have that. I've never seen that before. This is probably new in this version of Firefox. If you go into preferences, and let's see. I'm going to try to remember where you find this. supposed to be good to know this stuff hmm. content content there it is play DR there it is play drm content so that's the checkbox if you don't see it under content and preferences ha ah. and it worked just like that or with like debian nine stretch they just give you the button yeah there's it. the button well that's a feature of firefox that was easy uh, it's just the default browser that was installed firefox esr so simple done and done look at that